Welcome to Mobile Electronic Diagnostic. Uh, this is Muhammad Idris. Today we have uh, 2011 uh, BMW 535i X Drive. This car came here with four different headlights. Four different headlights. And uh, after we look for these headlights, all over it looked like a wire was being cut, you know, like the connection here was being cut and other different connection was inside. After we did everything, we realized that he put two headlights for 2014 and up. Two headlights for 2014 and up. The two, two headlights original was not even also are mixed. I'm gonna show you how many headlights and what I see. Then what I did is, I went in, I went and I ordered two brand new headlights from the dealer. Those two bra brand new headlights, when I, when I put them in, they don't work. It lead us to diagnose the car and think that maybe the light control module is no good. After a more three, four days of diagnosis, we found that there are some wires here was being disconnect, cut, add, very, 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 very strange. Also, I give some advice. If you have a car like this, you want to work on it, any car, you want to approach it, get wiring diagram. This is Mitchell On Demand or Shopkey. They have it. If you put your car VIN number information, you can buy the whole um, information at least for like $20 or $26. If you don't have that one, you can buy a, a BMW uh, subscription and print out all the information that you want for your car also is not expensive for maybe $50 or so you will get complete diagnosis information of your car. Please have it with you all the time. AutoZone, on AutoZone also they have something. AutoZone also on, or some manual, you can get some information. Now, um, this headlight here is, we get it from a used car or enough from a junkyard and when we plug it in, just to know what's going on there, I get this one complete, everything in it, as soon as I plug it in, work fine, perfect. So I say, you know what? So I say, you know what, let me put this use one from a good noun car because we are getting confused is this car have a uh, they call it adaptive he adaptive headlight or regular headlight everyone giving us a different so just i want to show you that this car have adaptive headlights and it's work fine with the light con with the footwell light control module in a few i will show you what the confusion or how does it work this one here is the adaptive, adaptive headlight for this car and how it look. I have to go and buy, use one from another, uh, from a junkyard coming complete. This person here sent me the headlight. The adaptive headlight, it look like this. You see, it has a HID or a module here. It have a place where um, the, 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 the light also could be in this place. It have the signal light, corner light, or signal light here is also have a computer where that computer is located there is a computer here it has a computer here in this place and it has a signal light or a LED light here now this one if your car has this this is an adaptive adaptive headlight not a regular okay when I put this one on this side here it works fine Right now, this side is work very nice. But when I put this one here, it doesn't work. So I say, why? It worked fine, but when you turn the light off, this one is still on. The, the small light here is still on. So I say, wait a minute, let me come here and look for the wiring diagram. Guess what? When I, when I open it here and look at the wiring diagram, here, if you notice here is number one, you see? The left side, the right side here, here is number one, and it goes to five. And then in the other side, 
I'm going to put another light here. Okay. You see here? Number one to five. Number six to twelve. So I follow all the wire. Number one wire, which is this. This connector is not belong to this car. So that's where the confusion is. Here is the where you don't need to go by color. You go by color or by assumption, you're going to burn your computer. So I go to number one here. Number one here. Actually, on the wiring diagram, is empty. Should they look here. Number one here. We don't have number one. We have nine. We have uh, four, two, and eleven. Four, two, and eleven. And we have five, six, three, and ten. So number one, we don't have it. What about the second one, number two, brown? See, this is brown. So I come here, the second wire here. If this is number one, the second one is number two is brown, is good. You know? The third one is say number three is yellow and green. So you go look here and check the wiring diagram and verify. You see yellow and green is pin number three. Good. Number five is what? Yellow. No, this is number six. Number five is yellow and red. So let's go to number five. Number five is the last one here. Yellow and red. So this is number five. So I'm going to go here. You see, this wire doesn't consider. We just consider the pin. We go here, it says yellow and red. This is number five. Yellow and red. Perfect. So we have no problem with the. You have to go with the pin numbers, not with the color. So it's number five, yellow and red. Number six. This is number six. Don't consider this color. We need the color coming from the car. Number six is say, number six here. No, this is not six. Let me see. Number six is this one here. This one. And what number six supposed to be? It says supposed to be number six here. Look at number six. Number six supposed to be what? White and black. So this connector is not belong to the car, but the connector is the same, but the wire is different. So number six is where? This is number six here. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So this is number six. I'm gonna take it from here. This number six wire is supposed to be what? This is original from the car. Let me see what it say. This black and white. I might have black and white number six. Number six, black and white, we are good. So from one, from one to five we pass. We are number six is good. So now leave this one. We're gonna see what, what is after number six because some of them are empty. After number six, we have seven is empty, eight is empty. We need number nine, number nine and then 10. So number nine supposed to be green and blue. So where is number nine here? This is six, seven, eight, nine here. This one here, supposed to be green, green and blue. Let's go and turn it. If this is 12, this is 11, this is 10, this is nine, green. So this one, this color. We have to look for green. Sorry, I'm just, this one. What it say? Say green and what? Green and green and light blue. So it's good. Green and light blue is good. Green and light blue. Okay, number ten. Supposed to be white and green. Number ten supposed to be white and green. This is this is white and green. Okay, let me go here and see where it's located. Is this number 10? I'm gonna turn here. This is white and green. Where is white and green? Number 10, okay. Here is number 12 here. Nine, uh, 11, nine, 11, and then this is 10, the third from here. So this one. Number 10, from here, we say what? 
light green and blue number 10 okay okay you see here number 10 w number 10 he say white and green white and green or number nine green and blue okay let me go back again we have a problem here where is number 10 this is 12 this is 11 this is 10 i'm gonna get 10 so the 10 is 12 is empty 11 is ground this is 10 here I need your help guys if you are follow me. This is number 10. Number 10, what is it? This color. What color is it? This white and green. This is number 10, white and green. Okay. Here I have white and green on number 10. Okay, what I have here? Number 10 is white and green. It's good. Number 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 9 is green and blue number nine where is number nine this is number nine green and blue so all my connector are good this is ten this nine green and blue which means that all the connectors are good. So what you need to do is be sure if your connector are good and you have no problem with anything. I'm gonna check this one too, the last one here. The last one here, which is number what? Number six. Also to be sure. Number six here. White and black, which is not bad. It's white and black, number six. It's not bad. So everything looks okay here. So if your connector are good and you have no problem with that, you just have to plug it in and it should work fine. If it doesn't work, that means you can code that one. You can recode it and reset it perfectly and it should work. We have no problem at all. But always what I'm trying to say, be sure that your connector don't follow the color. Don't go with the color, just a blind color. Try always to get the right one. I'm gonna review with you again. This is yellow and red. What's supposed to be yellow and red here? Yellow and red supposed to be on pin number. Yellow and red supposed to be number five. Okay, I'm gonna go here to be sure yellow and red is number five. So if this is number six, is number one. So I'm gonna to come to this one, two, three, four, five this is number five one no the bottom one one two three four five this is number five this one see this is number five it's in yellow red it's in yellow and red here number five yellow and red so everything look okay we don't have nothing to worry about this. If there's any problem, it could be from the headlight itself, or we're gonna go inside and connect it and code it. Everything working fine, and then you're good to go. But the other side is good. Thank you for watching Mobile Electronic. Please subscribe and share, and see you in another video.